money. Hello, welcome to week number 57. I'm just back in Gifnick for my laser session. Things are progressing very well. Then after laser, I'm home and then I've got PT tonight. Went and got my nails done today. I swear, looking after myself is nuts. That's what's happening today. All the food I've eaten today has been from Pret, which is a very bougie day of eating for me. But I've just been out the house, in the car, all day. I've just got a super busy week, work-wise and appointment-wise. I'm going to the dentist tomorrow to get a root canal finished, which I've been putting off. It scares life out of me. My manager's coming up to Glasgow. I'm picking her up. We've got an exciting meeting in Glasgow. Just loads of stuff. And then in the meantime, I've got to get packed and ready for New York because Jack and I are going to the Hamptons because we're bougie and then it is my birthday when is my birthday monday a week today jeez it's my birthday a week today so we're going to be in new york for that which i'm really excited for i think it'll be sick but you'll see all that in next week's vlog so because i'm by myself today with mandy we're going to film a little bit more than usual and we're going to do a little mix of what we usually do in here but i've asked if we can put quite a lot of floor exercises in because it's just like body weight stuff and it's stuff that you guys can do at home so this isn't an official fitness vid because i don't personally feel like i'm there yet because i've been messing about my eating pissing mandy off but i've been really good today really good really good cue montage Jimmy's under. Basically, I had a root canal, right? And we couldn't finish it because I could feel it. And for some reason, the anaesthetic I don't think works on me. I get really nervous. And we're going now. <sighs> the dentist I go to is absolutely brilliant. I think I don't think it's them. I think it's my teeth because it's every single thing that I've had like this anywhere. Yeah. So I'm just really pissed off. I hate having stuff wrong with my teeth. Because look how nice they are at the front. I'm doing a video on that, by the way, guys, in case you're wondering how I got my teeth all fixed up. But I thought I may as well finish this root canal first. <laughs> so I'm not lying to you, saying that my teeth feel fine. I hope they put you under the general anaesthetic. I hope so too. So I basically what happened was I phoned them up. They're a private dentist, right? Which I really recommend, because your teeth are really important. And NHS dentists, if you get a good one, you're really lucky. I phoned up to make this appointment and I explained that I was really nervous and that I'd been putting it off for a long time and if there was any other kind of anaesthetic or whatever they could give me to just make me not really know what's going on. Jack's taking himself for a lovely fry up. <laughs> No, I don't believe you. You're having sausages and bacon. Cause Jack's got a big baby, baby, baby teddy hangover. Oh. Best of luck. I hope it's not too sore. Be a brave girl. We get a lollipop. <laughs> she's coming, and she looks like she's smiling. Is she smiling? What's she looking at? What the hell is she doing? She doesn't look too out of it, to be fair. Oh, wait, I see her eyes. I see her eyeballs. She looks, hi! How are we? How was actually, it? Actually, actually, that was totally fine. Was it? I can't feel my face. Did, they give, did they give you drugs? They just gave me the normal stuff, but they gave me loads of it, so I couldn't feel a thing. And they did they finished the root canal. I could feel the wee drill going down each individual root of my tooth. Oh. You would die. You would hate it. And then look, I got them all cleaned. Look how good they look. Yeah, they're shiny. 
Do you think? You look like Jack from Love Island. I do not. Look at my, all my staining's gone. They're really clean, yeah. Good, eh? Nice. Successful red day then. Yeah, I can't feel my face, but I'm really hungry, but I can't eat because I might bite myself. Yeah, that's a good point. Why are you filling me off guard? Because <laughs> you do it to me all the time. What? You do it to me all no, the time. Don't. Don't this, why am I being filmed at bedtime? This is our new big bed. It's an emperor size. With my arms spread out, I can't touch the sides. It's the best. We love it. Drogba loves it. My pillows are all askew. I've got such a bad cold. My head is... Uh, my head is so sore, I'm so congested. Right, so guys, remember the cold I had last week? Basically, Jack's got this now, and it's so much worse than my cold I've was. Man flu. You man, can't tell you can't. Man, let me finish. Look up the meaning of man flu. I've got the man flu version of the cold you had, but it's scientifically proven that man flu is worse than when ladies get the flu. So. You're an idiot. Are you, do you know what? That is the worst thing that you've ever said, nearly. No, it's proven to be worse. Look at this dog. I'm sure I read it somewhere. Yeah, a lot of people probably. <laughs> no, on a <laughs> NHS website. <laughs> no. Drop it. You're really, you're really in the way, bud. <sighs> Drop that personal space, please. So, my face is back to normal. The dentist is absolutely fine. I don't know why I get myself so nervous, honestly. But I couldn't feel a thing. I got all my root canal done. I had a sip of water, right? I drank water and for the first time in ages, it didn't hurt because I've been putting off getting that tooth fixed for ages. It was totally my fault. Um, but I'm so grateful that it's fixed now. Yeah, oh, thank goodness. My dentists are really, really good. I've been saying, if anyone's in Glasgow and needs a dentist, you need to go to dentistry on the square. It is private. It's so worth it when it's your teeth, because your teeth are forever, right? Forever. So I'm really excited. I got them all clean, so they're looking nice and fresh. And now it's bedtime. Tomorrow I am picking up my manager from the airport and then we've got a couple of exciting meetings that I won't be able to film. I need to get home straight away and pack because Jack and I are getting picked up super early to go to New York. We're really excited, eh Jack? Your cold will be gone by then, eh? I hope so. I think it will be, somehow. Miraculously, I think it will be gone by then. I'll stay in with the heating <laughs> up full bun tomorrow. No, you will not. You're not having the heating on all day, it'll cost us a fortune. Oh, not full bun. Full bun. Not full bun. And the radiator's on. You good boy. Let's listen to a podcast. Yeah, good boy. Aww. He's just a big baby. He's just a big baby, that's all. That's all. Oh, look at those paws. Perfect. This is what happens every single night. And every morning when I wake up, Robba wakes me up so I move my legs so he can come and have a cuddle in the morning too, eh, buddy? Me and my spot cream and my dog and Jack. But he's sick, so he's boring. Do you want to watch Lord of the Ring? No. Brought the laptop up? No. Why did you bring the laptop up? Just so we can watch a wee programme to settle down. I've got to put a podcast on. Oh, you're leaving me too. Good night everyone, see you tomorrow. Hello. This is the look of a crazy person. Basically what I'm doing is getting ready for tomorrow. I had a very exciting meeting that I obviously can't tell you about. And me and Jack are getting ready because we're getting picked up super early tomorrow to go to the Hamptons. Really excited. Left it so last minute to get ready. I washed my hair yesterday and let it air dry and now it's mental. So I'm just gonna sort it so I don't need to worry tomorrow. And then I've packed my clothes. They're all right, we managed. I always panic buy stuff from ASOS towards the leaving date of a trip. I'm not even gonna bother properly straightening my hair, just like a quick. We're away for quite a while this time actually, so it's always harder when you're away for longer because you need to pack more stuff and there's so many things that you forget that you flipping need before we get there. Like literally that's all I'm doing, it's not even properly done. And yeah, my manager was up and we were just catching up today on everything that's happening. Everything is super exciting, um, it's just a lot of work. I'm so excited to go back to New York. I've been watching so much, I've actually got Gossip Girl in the background, I've paused it to talk to you guys. That's all I've really got to catch up on because I can't think straight when I'm not packed and I'm going away soon. Right, okay. Back to Gossip Girl. Next time you see me, I'll be a lot more together, I promise. Morning. Right We're up. We're ready to go. I finished working, do you know I was sitting on your laptop doing work at one in the morning? <laughs> it's now half past five. We're very excited. I just can't wait to get there. We're saying our goodbyes to drugs. 
Jack's cold still pretty bad, bless him. Oh, so bad. Hmm, it's not well. See you soon, buddy. Hey, it's early, man. We're so early, we're so tired. But we just got to Glasgow Airport. We're going to lounge, and then we're going to board the flight to London. And then we have to go from London to New York. JFK. To JFK, and then from JFK to... We're on the Camp Maybelline bus. Camp Maybelline bus to Montauk and the Hamptons. So this is the first leg of the journey. Tired. Yeah, but I'm excited, so it's fine. Yeah, me too. Jack's gonna get them. I can sleep. Jack's got smooth. The what? We're going, to, uh, we're going to the lounge to get some breakfast. Jack's got sore throat, so I told him to get a little bit of the old scratch, scratch, smooth. Which Brand apparently flakes. is bran flakes and then yogurt. Scratch, scratch, smooth. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. You're going to feel on virus rain, bitch. <laughs> Wonder what's with them. Oh my gosh, sunny in my face. I drank water. Did you? Yeah. Thing. I'm off a bike, remember too, and you done See me nugget. Damn, you're not a fan. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. i Oh, walk it off. Here she goes. <laughs> Get it in my face. Get it in my face. Get it in my <laughs> Jim, you want your sippy cup? Oh, she's gone. <laughs> <laughs> 